Hello and welcome to the School of Mathematics and Statistics at the University of New South Wales. My name is Daniel Mansfield. And I'm Jonathan Cress. And we're here to tell you about the structure and assessments in Mathematics 1A. And at the same time, higher Mathematics 1A, which is pretty much, uh, has pretty much the same assessment structure. And same, similar material to it. Yes, yes. but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the differences of these things as well. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're just about to start uh, week one. This is uh, currently O week. I hope you're having a great time getting to know the campus. Starting from week one, we hit the ground running, um, and uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, weeks up to 10 and a little bit possibly in 11. Um, okay, so um, perhaps we'll just start with, with the assessment uh, structure yeah. and, uh, and walk you through that. Yeah. So we've broken down all the different assessments there are in this, in this uh, course, and we've just put little dots and symbols uh, against each week to show you when they're due. Um, maybe the first thing we should tell people is these are the easy marks yeah, in the course. So That's so probably the reassuring thing. Dur during say. the term, you get the chance to collect 50% of your final grade. Uh, and most of it is, is structured so that you can repeat and repeat and, uh, and until you get uh, pretty close to full marks. Um, it's sort of more around the skills-based sort of procedural things that you just need to get under your belt so you can really understand the, the bigger picture, which probably comes uh, in the, more in the exam. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, to, to me, the spirit of the, uh, the assessment here is really, do, are you doing your homework? And if you do your homework, you should be looking at somewhere between 40 to 50 out of 50 yeah. for this section of That's the course. Right. Yeah, and in fact, the, the other thing, of course, is that by the end of the term, you should be pretty close to passing the course. So when you go into the exam, you're not stressed about whether you're actually going to pass the course, you're more thinking about, am I getting a pass credit distinction or, or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. so we, I don't think we've added stress. We've just spreaded the stress of a final, big final exam throughout the, uh, throughout the term to, to many smaller, kind of yeah. easier, multiple attempt events. Yes. Cool. Okay, let's talk about them. All right, so the, the dot we see here is a weekly online tutorial. This, this is, uh, it's paired with the classroom tutorials we'll mention later, but the online tutorial runs, runs every week and it's, uh, uh, you'll find uh, on, on the Moodle page, uh, week by week um, sections, and in section one it tells you what to do in week one for, in week one it tells you what to do in week one for the uh, online tutorial. The online tutorials are on a system called Maple TA. Um, there's some YouTube videos and then some sort of exercises you work through and there's a number of those each week. They're due, week one stuff is due just at the beginning of week two on, on the Monday. Yeah. Um, you need to check the deadline. The deadline for the ordinary, for the Math 1A and the High Math 1A are slightly different. I think one's 1pm and the other's 5pm so make sure you get that right. Um, and you should really be doing it in week one anyway. Yes. The deadline it happens to be the you know at the very uppermost extreme of week one, which is into week yes. two. And in fact, you, these these uh, online uh, exercises you do, you can start them, open them up, and look at them, and they don't they don't expire. There's just a deadline uh, eventually, so you can open them and, and work through a bit, and then and then go to the the yeah. lectures and shoots and, uh, and and course materials. You don't have to do it all in one sitting, it's a good idea to get early in early to see what's actually there and you know know what you're in for yeah. for the week. And you yeah. can open it and close it and save it and get everything wrong and open it again and have another go it, uh, as many times as, as you like. It'll just yeah. take the highest of your many attempts or, the, or just the, the highest attempt. And you can do these at home anywhere with internet, um, you can do them with you know in groups with, with yeah. your friends as long as you're engaging with it yourself and yeah. it's, uh, it's not, this is really sort of... Uh, th these, these dots here really do represent sort of tutorial material that you're getting a little bit of, of um, marks for along the way. Then um, at uh, two points in, in the term uh, there's also some lab tests which are partly based on the online tutorials and, and, and partly some other similar things. Um, the lab tests are going to be in our lab. They're in your timetable as uh, the class called Other, so make sure you know when and where that is. If you, you really, it's really, really important not to miss that. That's like the exam. You can't, you can't miss that. You can't think, I'm going to skip that class. It's only once or twice a term. It can't be important. It's the test. Yeah. Mm. So and you will need to look through your timetable up until weeks four, five, eight or nine, depending on what course you're in. So if you're in 1131, your event, or your lab test is in weeks five and nine. And if you're in 1141, your test is in four, and eight, and you'll need to leaf through your timetable to those weeks to find out where your thing has mm. been scheduled. And these should be fairly low stress tests because we actually give you the question bank in advance to, to practice on. You're just coming to the lab to demonstrate that you've actually figured it all out and you can do it. 
So uh, students who, uh, who you know, practice these in advance, where the test is 40 minutes, they can do it in 20 minutes easily. So it, it, you should be aiming for a high mark, at least 80% in those tests, that yeah. most students get that. And no surprises either. You'll know exactly the kind of stuff to expect on this. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's the, the, the lab tests. Um, there is also an assignment. The assignments are perhaps a little bit different because, uh, well, it's, it's uh, we'll give it to you in week five. You can work on it during this flexibility week in week six where you don't have other classes and it's due at the end of week seven. The assignment is something quite different to you. It's con it concentrates on mathematical communication, something that uh, probably uh, is a bit different to what you were used to at high school. Um, we're thinking about perhaps how you would include mathematics in a document that you might be uh, providing in to somebody else in the future. It's really about explaining your answers. Uh, well, there'll be more details about the assignment as it comes up, but the emphasis on that is actually writing and actually typing typing your mathematics into mm -hmm. a coherent document that you know, would be nice for somebody else to read, not just your own working. Yeah, so there's really two skills that are going to be new to you when you get to this course. Um, that is the computing aspect of it and the writing aspect of it. Now, when you, up until now, you've been uh, going through your mathematical careers and you probably haven't had to write an essay about mathematics and you probably haven't really had to get a computer to do it. Um, we're probably not going to be writing an essay, I would not say. Not an essay, but, okay. But writing a few words. Yes, but it's sentences that, yes. yeah, that hang together. Yeah. And if you look at uh, textbooks and our course notes, you'll see that you know, there's stuff that's written out in sentences and it it's, 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 it's should be nice to read and uh, 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 good for somebody. The person who's reading it should appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. both the computing and communication skills are important for people who go on and actually use mathematics in the industry. Is mathematics useful? <laughs> we just do it because we love it. <laughs> I think it's also useful, some people. Yeah. Some people, uh, I've been told some people do use it for things. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, I guess we've dealt with that. Maybe the classes, um, you can see there's a tick in every week except for week six, which is the flexibility week where there's no classes. Um, so this is um, uh, lectures, tutorials, uh, they have all run every week except week six and then in week 11 because there's some public holidays some of those classes get uh, knocked on to knocked on to week 11 so we put a question mark there because it depends on which stream and which tutorial you're in uh, whether you actually have something there yeah. good okay uh, we should talk about the assumed knowledge oh yes the assumed knowledge so um math 1131 uh, mathematics 1a we're assuming that you've done uh, a new south wales uh, high school ex mathematics extension one and um uh, and have a hundred, a good mark in that yeah, subject. maybe a hundred out of 150, yeah. yeah. If you haven't got that, um, then maybe you like, might like to consider doing Math 1011, the fundamentals course first, and you can do that in Term 1 and then Math 1131 in Term 2. Um, if you're from another state or uh, overseas um, or uh, the baccalaureate or something like that, then, you know, it maybe it's, uh, uh, you have to get in touch if you're not sure about whether you're, whether you're a, we're, you know, in the right place. But um, there's information on Moodle that helps you decide. There's some revision worksheets mm -hmm. and, and, and things like that, which will help you see the level. Um, the a higher course is um, is for students who've done um, Mathematics Extension 1 and Extension 2 in New South Wales um, with and, and done well in that with a mark of around 176 or greater out of 200. If you've just done Extension 1 and did really well, maybe 145 out of 150, then, then you should be fine there too. Um, so that's sort of technically what we say about the assumed knowledge and, uh, and, and advice that will help you decide whether you're in the right place. It's also important to think about whether you, you know, whether you want to do the higher course for, you know, what reasons you, you, you might be choosing the higher course or the uh, ordinary level course. Um, yeah, as far as the university is concerned, they are the same course. Um, the really the only difference is, should be, do you want to study Mathematics, do you really love mathematics? And if that, if mathematics is your thing, 1141 is the course for you. Yes. Of course, if you, if you d don't come with your right assumed knowledge and perhaps you're not, not sure about it, then uh, certainly 1131 might be a good way to start. And you can even, you can go up to the higher course in, in, in term two, math uh, 1241 yeah. from 1131 if you want. It's, uh, um, that, that's possible also. You can also, we find a lot of students do start in the higher course and then after a couple of weeks decide whether they want you know, that it's, it's really for them, and then you can actually switch down to the um, to the ordinary level course yes. um, up until the census date. And um, census date is about here somewhere. Yeah, at the end of week four, basically. Yes. So uh, good. So if you do discover that it's not for you, or that actually you're hungry for mathematics and you want more, 
then uh, you can swatch, switch between courses up until that time. Basically, uh, Math 1131, Mathematics 1A, there'll be, you'll learn a lot of stuff in there. There's certainly a challenge, don't, don't feel like it's not going to be a challenge. Um, but it's sort of more focused on actually the tools and use, you know, solving problems uh, using the theorems you might have. In Math 1141, there'll be more of the sort of proof of the theorems and understanding things behind the scenes and getting a bit sort of, you know, under, under the hood, perhaps, so to speak. <laughs> Um, yep. Should we talk about the course pack? Yes. The course pack is available from the bookshop. Um, it contains a number of things. What have you got there? Some past, past exam, exam papers, papers and solutions. Yes. There's, there'll be some more of those on Moodle as well. Um, we have the more past exam. What? That's 1B. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Disregard that one. That's a different subject. Um, the <laughs> calculus notes. The calculus notes contain everything you need to know about the course in pleasant written form. Yes. Um, this is a lovely resource for you because it contains the course, the whole course, and nothing but the course. Yes. So you don't need to buy another textbook. Everything is in here, and yes. there's no extra stuff. And so that's nice. You might, you, how it depends how you want to use that. You might like to read read ahead before the lectures, or use it as a resource afterwards. But it's really uh, contain contains everything. Some students really rely heavily on it. Yes. We also have the same thing, but for the algebra side of the course. Yeah. So you have algebra and uh, calculus tutorials. You have algebra and calculus notes. What do we have here? Uh, maple maple notes. notes. Yes. So um, you've seen algebra and calculus there. There's also um, uh, another sort of component of the course, which is Maple. Maple is a computer algebra package. One thing that is really important uh, these days is that uh, you really should be able to use your mathematics with a computer. Uh, and there's lots of different uh, mathematical software packages you might come across. Uh, MATLAB is, is very common mm -hmm. as well. There's other ones like Mathematica, which is the engine behind Wolfram Alpha. You may have heard of that. Um, and many, many others, uh, coding languages like Python and such like, uh, you know, you can use mathematics there. But being able to use mathematics on a computer uh, is a skill is that a, is you a learn. a really important skill. It's a skill that employers really, really you know, insist on these days, basically. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, no, employers don't really care if you can do a nice, uh, nice quadratic formula on a piece of paper. Yeah. No, 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 no. They, they want you to use... You use use this mathematics, you know, with the best possible tools, and the computer is really the, the way to go there. Yeah. Right. Anything should, else? We yes. should talk about where to get help. Oh, where to get help? Yes. So, of course, this it's uh, you know this is going to be a challenging term for um, uh, for most of you, and we don't want you to suffer by yourself. No, that's the, that's the <laughs> that's the one message. But yeah. we've got ways to expand on that. Yes. Don't attempt to do this by yourself. There's loads of ways you can get help. Yeah, I mean, first of all, attending lectures and tutorials is is a really good idea. Part, partly, you know, it's uh, you know that's where you'll get a lot of the material, but also. Uh, you'll meet um, other people other who are doing the same course as you and they'll be many of them will be uh, doing the same courses for the next couple of years with you so it's yeah. a great way to make friends form groups study together um, so you do not suffer alone yes so studying in, in a group that's a really good way to actually actually get help but we also provide um, other other assistance which are uh, um, you know, students use to varying degrees, and it's there when you need it. So the one of the, the probably the main one is the the drop-in center. We have a drop-in center. It's on level three of the Red Center. You can come and find that. It's open for a number of hours each day. It changes slightly each day. Maybe look on. on yeah, um, but during the sensible Google. hours, like ten to two or something 10 like three, that. Is yeah. ten to three? There we go. Yeah. Um, it's a center where we've got graduate students who are very good at mathematics, and they just sit at a table waiting for you to come. And to ask them questions, and they and they've service. been talking to first year students for for a long time. Most of them, they they know exactly yes the sorts of uh, um, issues and problems that come up, and are, and are, you know well very familiar with the course. If you have problems, just come along. It's a free service, and you'll get your problems answered. Yeah, if you come along ten minutes before your test, you might find there's a queue. So. <laughs> You know, there's, there's, there's these these weeks are the ones where they where the where the, yeah. um, the drop-in center is. Drop-in center is it open in week one? Uh, it is, I think it is open in week one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's better check on Moodle about that actually. Yeah. Okay. Might not might not be open on Monday of week one. Yeah. Okay. The other place to ask questions, or one other place to ask questions, is on Moodle. Speaking of Moodle, yes. So we have a forum where you've got a help section, and you can just anonymously, if you wish post any questions you like. Yeah, there's a general forum at the top and then there's one forum for each each week with the online tutorials and, and, and tutorials. Um, and you can post anonymously, yes, uh, many students do. And um, what we really want to encourage there is that when you post a question, it's not just, oh, I'm stuck on question three, can someone tell me how to do it? 
post what you've done, post some ideas, post a you know, picture of your working and say, I got stuck at this point and I'm not sure yeah. uh, how, how to continue or I don't know, you know, maybe I've made a mistake. Because if you post, you know, some lots of information about what you're thinking and what you've done, then other people can immediately spot perhaps where you've gone wrong. Yeah. And, and it gives and, us something to work with. If you yeah. if someone just says, "Oh, I don't get question three, then I feel like I have to deliver the whole lecture and then the solution. And 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 really, that's not what you want to hear. Yeah. You want you want you want targeted help that is really yeah. focused on on the things. So that, give us something <laughs> that can that can draw our attention to yeah. what you want to and learn. answer other students' questions too. If we in the forum uh, last year, it was quite, quite active, and there's long threads where where students are you know um, uh, responding to other students' uh, yeah. posts, and it's quite, it's it's a good it's a good place to get help, and it's um, teaching the course yeah. is one of the best ways to learn the course. Yeah. So yeah, definitely a good thing to do. Yep. Um, there's also a staff consultation roster um, that that will be posted uh, on on Moodle. Uh, you can go and talk to staff, not just necessarily your lecturer, but other other lecturers in the course and other lecturers who lecture first year they're they're all there available to to help you with things yeah yeah i think we've probably said too much already we i think we have but yeah. uh welcome to the course is one more thing that we need to say yeah. so all right good luck good with luck. the course and we'll see you during time yes